Sea levels are projected to rise by 6 to 7 feet by the year 2100, flooding much of the city of Miami. With water rising up enough to cover most of the first floor of buildings, maintaining historic properties exactly the way they are is no longer an option. Historic preservation must be rethought and really question what the most significant aspects of historic districts and properties are. For my project, I chose the Spring Garden Historic District as a precedent of how historic districts can preserve the history while allowing protective measures from sea level rise. The district is known for being the first pre-planned single-family neighborhood in Miami, with homes built between 1910 and 1940. I worked from the large scale of the city down to the small scale of the building to determine the significant aspects and how elevating the district can preserve it even after the area floods. On the larger scale, the district is located within close proximity to downtown. Utilizing the existing metro rail and expanding elevated public transit maintains this connectivity to the rest of the city. Within the district, all roads will be replaced with elevated walkways as the streets begin to flood and become unusable. This will preserve the neighborhood connectivity between the houses and can be populated with services that the neighborhood will need. At the smallest scale, each building will be elevated to meet the raised walkway, preserving the architectural style and the procession of entry into the building. By selecting the most significant aspects of historic districts, the history and sense of community ties can be preserved, while allowing the rest to be adapted for the impending sea level rise and thus preserving the district further into the future.